Welcome to this video, where we'll be showcasing some of the exciting new features introduced in Cognos 12.0.4. From enhanced dashboarding and reporting capabilities to improved data module functionalities. Let's dive in and explore what's new. Creating a data server connection is now more convenient, as it is embedded directly into the burger menu for easier navigation. Simply fill in all the required database information as outlined in the steps, and you'll be able to create the connection. We now have improved integration of asset loading with data server connections, ensuring a smoother experience before finalizing the connection setup. Additionally, you can conveniently load either all schemas or specific tables as needed. Let's explore the new dashboarding features. You can now customize the style of individual column headers and enable text wrapping for column headers in both cross tabs and tables. Simply hover over the column names, right-click, go to the Style section, select the Wrap Text option, and apply it to all. This will display the column headers in the wrapped text style. A new visualization, called the Tornado Visualization, has been introduced in dashboards. The Tornado Visualization consists of two adjacent bar charts that begin in the center of the value axis and point in opposite directions. You can use the Tornado Visualization to compare two categories of a data series. Now let's see the reporting features. The insertable objects button has now been moved from the vertical navigation bar to the horizontal navigation menu. The search functionality has been added to the properties pane in reporting, allowing report authors to quickly find specific properties, even when the property header is collapsed. Now let's take a look at projected queries. The projected queries view displays the data flow in report queries from data sources to layout controls. A customizable value text label is now available in reporting prompts, which can be set for multi-select prompts in both interactive and classic reports. The label appears above the value box. You can specify this label for the following prompt controls text box prompt, date and time prompt, date prompt, and time prompt. For all of these prompts, the multi-select property must be turned on. A new property called selection color is now available for interactive reports. This color serves as the base for all types of selections in the HTML report output. Simply go to the report, select the property, and set the desired color. Next, you can adjust the size of the search and select prompt control by navigating to the Size and Overflow option in the Properties tab of the Search and Select Prompt, as shown. Now, let's move to the data modules. Here, we have an enhanced search feature for improved usability. The properties available for searching objects include Label, Identifier, Aggregate, Usage, Data Type, technical data type, expression, description, comments, and screen tip. Some of these are demonstrated as shown. Next, you can now create a report or dashboard directly from the data module user interface. After saving the data module, the Create button in the toolbar allows you to start building reports or dashboards seamlessly. Thank you for watching. We hope this overview of the new features in Cognos 12.0.4 has been helpful.